Hello, everyone. Welcome to the uh, Mike Armstrong podcast show. Today, we're joined by Michael from uh, the business finding app Udder, um, and uh, it offers business services for people looking uh, via the app and, and we're online and via social media, etc. So we're going to have a chat with Michael about uh, the business and uh, get to find out a little bit about what's been going on. How are you doing today, Michael? Are you okay? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. And yourself? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Very well. I'm just uh, very busy at the moment. Every day just seems to be uh, one Zoom call after another, but I'm really enjoying it. That's good to hear, good to hear. Yeah, same here, really. We're busy busy uh, onboarding more and more companies and growing the business. So, yeah, so it's all good. That's brilliant. Before I go into a bit more about the business and give you an opportunity to tell people about that, I usually like to start off with the lockdown, since it's a sort of very topical. Uh, how has lockdown been for you? And uh, have you done any sort of pivoting uh, during that time um, in the business? Well, um, obviously at the start, lockdown was a bit, uh, I suppose everyone was a bit going into the unknown. Um, and we had, you know, quite a few of our businesses haven't been able to work, but then we've also had a lot of other businesses that are on our app that have kind of pivoted to more, more digital methods, you know, maybe taking orders um, and delivering things instead of, you know, where they'd be doing it in person or using methods like this on Zoom to, you know, to quote or to, for consultancy, that kind of thing as well. Um, so, yeah, in, in the outset, we did have a little, I think the first two or three weeks, there was a little bit of a reaction from everyone, you know, and a bit of a panic. But then I think since, since then, probably the last however long it's been, three months, we've you know, it's been business as normal. We've been onboarding companies, um, a lot of exciting things on. In the first couple of weeks, we had a, a bit of time as well to get our new app release out and a new website, those kind of things that have been on the agenda. But we had a, a little bit of downtime there. But yeah, it's been it's been growing. And um, we've got an advert on Sky Telly as well during lockdown, which has been pretty cool for us. Um, it's on Sky at the moment, I think, uh, for the rest of the month. So yeah, it's just been a um, challenging and exciting, and I think you know a lot of companies have seen it as a, like you've said, a, a bit of a, a reason to pivot. Um, and I think us being a digital platform, we we kind of, you know, most of the work that we do is is remote anyway. Anyway, so you know, we we kind of just plowed on. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you're, you're in a a business which, um, if you like, is there to take people and promote them as they pivot themselves and also you were already in the, the right space if you like uh, the online space similar to me you know I, I had some slight pivots to do like like yourselves like you've done but most of what you were doing is in that online space anyway so you know it, you're, you're already working in technology and, and in the way forward for, for what most businesses are going to be looking to move towards going forward from, from this time. Yeah well I think the um what I was discussing with someone else the other day, I think, you know, the kind of methods and the platforms have always been, well, not always been there, but, you know, they've been there before. It wasn't like Zoom just appeared when lockdown happened. You know, these kind of things were there anyway, but I think, you know, it's kind of accelerated the 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 time frame in terms of people getting on board, you know, some people getting on board with them. You know, I, I'd use Zoom before lockdown. Um, Teams or uh, Microsoft Teams, but you know, nowhere near the amount of times as I have in the last two or three years. You're probably the same, you know. Um, I think it's yeah, it's, it, it was it was coming, I think, anyway. But I think the lockdown and the COVID situation has accelerated um, the mass use of a load of these digital platforms, I think. Yeah, I think uh, both me and you work in that digital space. So I myself had used Hangouts and Skype and, you know, you, you yeah. use them for those people you couldn't get to see in the real world. But the Zoom has just taken over, you know, you, you, the people you could see in the real world. You still, I think a lot of people are still going to Zoom from now on anyway because it's more efficient. It's more time efficient. Yeah, I, well, um, you know, Normally, I would go to maybe one or two networking meetings a week, um, as we're now I've been doing them online. And there's obviously there's pros and cons. You can't kind of, you can never replicate. I think that face to face contact and the and the relationship you can build with people in person. But then you know there's there's pros for for Zoom. In you know you don't have to travel. You don't have to. Um, it doesn't take out a lot more time of your day. You know you can 
sit in the comfort of your own home and do it. Um, so yeah, there is, like I said, there's pros and cons to both. Um, I think it will continue. I think more and more, you know, I'd, I'd like to think that like, for example, networking meetings would offer both, you know, because for, for this kind of setup, it suits a lot, of, a lot of people, you know, maybe people working at home with young kids, that kind of thing. Um, and like I said, it, it takes up a lot less time of the day. Um, but then there'll, there'll always be a space and time for, for the physical stuff, uh, networking meetings as well. Yeah, definitely. It's just the same as like I used to run a telesales team and I converted it into a field sales team over time, but there were still times when telesales was better and there was times when field sales was better. And it all depends on the customer, the client, how they prefer it. Well, that sort of thing. And like you say, the real world network, and you can do a lot more relationship building and questions and, and answering. So, you know, to try it on a solution seller, so you can find out more about people's businesses and maybe their problems in order to be able to help them with their problems, you know, in that one to one environment. But, like, you know, like yourself, I can get, I, I've been doing eight, eight events a week, you know, on Zoom, which I couldn't do if it was in the real world. I, I could probably do two or three. You know, because yeah. the time would would take a lot longer. So yeah, like you say, you know, swings and roundabouts. It all depends what's best for different people's situations and and their way of working, if you like. But um, I know a little bit about uh, Ada. Obviously, uh, I've met you a few times, and you've uh, told me about it. As a co-founder, tell us a little bit about the idea of it, uh, where it come from, and what it's sort of grown into so far in your sort of uh, progress, really. Well, it was it was um, my other co-founder. Well, there's three of us in the business, but the other the other um, co-founder. We sat down. Um, he had an idea for an app, and then we kind of mashed our heads together, and we we thought, wouldn't it be cool that you could have a platform, well, an app that you could order your milk, hence the name, um, and get it delivered and pay for all all through the app. And then we thought, you know, why kind of work for all types of services? So we've we kind of opened it up to every kind of business. Um, We've parked the booking system for now. It's all, it's all ready to go when when the, um, we've got a lot more traffic going through the app, that kind of thing. When you know when we've gone more national, so at the moment we use the WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger integration for people to contact. So now you can find everything from plasterers to poets to window cleaners to wedding specialists, business consultants, marketing specialists. Um, you name it everything's on there so yeah it's um people like it because they get that instant con messaging contact you know through the apps that they they know and use every day with their friends be it whatsapp or facebook and you know it's perfect for exchanging images for quotes or sending a little video if you need to of um maybe your garden needs cutting or your windows need washing and in most cases you know the businesses on our app with us can quote for the work without even visiting people in, in most cases um, and you, you know as you know busy man yourself sometimes you, you miss phone calls you don't you know you, you can't really pick up the phone in some certain instances so you've got I suppose a chat dialogue there with the customer um, something to go back to if, if you can't pick up the phone yeah yeah definitely so uh, so it's just an, uh, offering businesses a new way of engaging with their clients really via the, the technology that's now available yeah well um you know it's, it's free for the user as well and always will be free um and the same you know for businesses we charge them a, a monthly fee or they can pay by by year to be on the app and then once they're on you know there's no extra charges like other similar services for you know for, for the, giving them their leads or taking a, uh, a cut out of the jobs that they get through the app. So, um, yeah, there's no hidden charges. That's why the companies, the companies like that is simple. We've kept the app simple for a reason. You know, basically you bang your postcode in, you get greeted with a range of services, you find one you need, you look at the companies in your area because it's, it's all driven by the postcode. Um, and then once you've had a look at, maybe a company's images and a description of what they do you can bang the contact and go straight through uh, whatsapp or facebook and yeah that's like i said we've kept it very simple for that reason and um and it works you know we know that um <clears throat> a lot of work has got already gone through the app in the first uh, just over a year we've we launched it so yeah it's um it's all heading in the right direction yeah yeah and obviously these things can take a bit of time to get a bit of traction once you get some traction, it can start building nicely there, like a snowball. 
yeah that's the thing you know um at the start it was it was it was quite difficult to get people on you know we're like do you want to put your company on this app how many people have got oh, 10 people have downloaded it or um you know and then when you say someone oh have you used our app and they're like how many companies are on there like two so um so yeah in, in the outset obviously from a from a standing start it was it was difficult but as as we go along we you know we've got over 300 companies on board now um across the uk a majority of them are southwest and uh, south wales based from obviously we've uh, grown outwardly outwardly from where we uh, where we founded um but yeah it'll it'll just hopefully just keep gathering pace now we're adding new businesses every day um and getting more and more downloads so yeah more the more times um people see it the more likely they are to download it that kind of thing and what we find is when they've got the app they use it for one thing and then they think oh yeah I, I, my window's cleaned i i need a carpenter now um so they go back to it because like like i said before there's pretty much everything in your area that that people could need hopefully um apart from some uh, other services maybe or le illegal stuff um so yeah there's uh, <clears throat> there's a wide range of stuff so i'm sure ev everyone can find something they need yeah yeah, good. And um, so, is there is there certain um, niches, if you like, that are filled up quicker than than others? Um, we've got some categories that are that are more popular than others. You know, the um, the for example, the window cleaners are very popular. The tradespeople, because people are you know notoriously looking for reliable tradespeople. But then you know we've had accountants on the app that have had several jobs through it. We've had. Um, yeah, we've got wedding specialists, party planners, um, loads of different stuff. Childcare people who will fix your mobile phone if the, if the screen's cracked or whatever, or people who will come and change the tires on your car. The milkman. Um, but yeah, there's there's uh, obviously you're going to get some categories that are more used than others, but then you know there there is a, there's a space for any kind of company on on the app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just uh, interested to see. What sort of industries, if you like, gravitated towards it first? Um, because you know that, like you say, you, you you sometimes do get clusters, don't you? There's, um, you know, there's once a few people are on there, then other people like to be on there because they're like, oh well, he's on it, so so so, yeah. so do I want to be on it? That sort of thing. Yeah, we found that you know we, it can be a, you know, I'm not gonna um, sugarcoat it. it can be a good sales tactic you know if you show someone that their competitors on there and they they find out it's only 10 quid a month they're like get me on there now so um yeah we've used that you know and, and we we built it for choice we want people to go on there and there to be five for example five electricians in their area or five five or six carpenters that they can bang a quote to you know send a quick picture to each of them and get a quote and um and do it that way you know we don't want it to be exclusive we've had some companies say can i be the only one in 20 miles and we're like no that's not that's not kind of the premise of the app we want it to be a local app for local people um and to give them the the user choice yeah yeah definitely um okay that's good and is this um uh, is is that uh, the 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 main plan for you or are you planning to be an app company and offer a number of these different solutions over time or you know what where are you looking to go with the business sort of well obviously the the main focus is is what we're on um we've got loads of you know there's loads of ideas bubbling away in the background of ways we can enhance our app and maybe you know branch out into other other i should say um kind of um sectors as well but you know obviously we're still in the infancy with other so we want to we want to make this the the go-to place for local services and businesses um and it, it is heading in the, the right direction and we need to just keep you know we keep adding businesses keep getting it in people's faces so they download it um and things like this you know is only going to spread the word which is which is brilliant so thank thanks for having us on um so yeah, we we've got loads of exciting um, advancements in the app for little things that will kind of even more USPs that will set us aside from you know similar I won't name them but similar kind of services to ours. Yeah. And you know we <clears throat> we haven't found anyone that kind of offers the the breadth of services and the and the instant contact that we do. So we, it's it's a nice little USP. Um, 
how long that will last, I don't know. But yeah, it's, uh, we we kind of hit hit a little um, a little gap, I think. Yeah, yeah, and I think um, I think uh, well, yeah, you know, there's lots of these uh, service tr uh, providers, tradespeople, and stuff like that. There's lots of them online, on web, and that sort of thing, but not so many in the app space. And you know, there are a few here and there, but I think you know the the, the benefit of yourself working with a um, app development specialist your, your co-founder which I, I know a little bit about uh, from previous meetings I think if you can keep developing the app and keep increasing the functionality and working with the clients as and when they want more more um, uh, functions you know you don't just do something because a client wants it but you take a note of it and if enough clients want it you develop it and eventually you've got something which is unique and is really fit, filling in uh, a need for, for, for what people want it to do yeah, well, um, you know, some people find it pretty cool that their company's on an app for, for, you know, for instance. And in some cases, we've got companies that haven't even got websites, so it can serve as their little mini site on our app. Um, we've got companies who are fully fledged, you know, tech tech savvy, and and they they realise the advantages of being on an app um, and the the kind of platform that we provide. So and. Um, and also, you you know, for sm for some smaller businesses, local businesses, the investment to get an app on the app store is is significant. You know, it's 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 not a cheap process. It's not a cheap thing to do and to maintain. So yeah, we um and we've priced it very competitive competitively to get any kind of company on there. And you know, for for all all shapes and sizes, a company you know ten pound a month is is the cheapest option. Is um is not a lot of money, you know. So we we're, we're hoping that word spreads and that um, people realise the uh, the benefits of being on there, and we continue to keep getting our partners work, and and it grows that way. Yeah, yeah, and there's a there's a lot of companies at the moment having to produce apps because of. Um, you know the the COVID and stuff, and they need to be able to either take orders online or or that sort of thing. Does your app cover that? Does that you know, so? If, for example, you were in a coffee shop and you needed to to get somebody to do an order, could they do an order through the app? And and uh... well, as I described earlier, we we did have the order system in at the start. Um, at the moment, it's all through WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger, so people can message people directly through there. But we have we have got plans uh, to bring the, the booking system back in. It's just that at, at the time we, we weren't really getting the, um, the traffic through the ordering system to warrant the development that it needed and the maintenance. But, you know, as our traffic continues to grow and, you know, as, as we get more and more requests for that kind of thing, then, you know, we can bring that back in and, and it, it'll be, uh, I suppose, a bit of a change in the people's behaviors. You know, they, they used to going on and, I suppose now, well, some people are used to going on maybe your, your just eats or whatever to order a pizza or a or a or a takeaway, um, as where they're not maybe so aware that they can go on. They will be able to go on something like ours to book a, a window clean or uh, you know uh, anything really, a service for your car or. So yes. yeah, there is, there are plans to bring that back in, and it will be. Um, I think it will be a bit a bit of a game changer once we. Once we get a lot more traffic through the app and it continues to grow, we can we can look at bringing that back in. Yeah, I think uh, I think when people um, realise that they can order their services through an app, just like once they all realised that they could order their food through uh, through an app, then it became the norm, then didn't it? So it's just it's an edu you have to just educate them over a, a bit of a time just to get them to uh, to change their habits and when they're looking for a local tradesman rather than you know going through the yellow pages or doing the google search or whatever they do traditionally they now can just you know download an app and, and once it's in their phone that, that that's the, the the key then that they'll they'll hopefully remember to use it then which is where things like the sky tv advertising and all the various places you can get your name out there just remind people you know there is an app for ordering your um, trades and and other services and not just for food yeah well it's, that's the challenge for us is to to kind of get it into people's minds that the other can be the one-stop shop for everything in their area you know and, and we know that that's going to 
that's going to take significant investment in, in marketing and, and selling it and to, to keep it in 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 front of people and, and in the front of their minds, you know, that they can <clears throat> that they can keep going back to it for anything they want and we want it to be the you know, as where someone says, Oh, why don't you Google it? We want it to be why don't you utter it? You know, if it's any kind of problem with your home or with your car or with your pet or or anything like like I've previously described, we, we, we'd like to to become and, and establish ourselves as the go-to way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said, uh, obviously, it's not restricted by borders. So, so you know, in, in theory, it's UK-wide. Obviously, it's grown outside from where you started, but it's UK-wide. Have you um, just, uh, you know, obviously, because I'm from a sales background and I'm a sales consultant, uh, have you thought about taking on agents in different parts of the country to... To sell it for you and make it sort of national. Yeah, so obviously we've got a we're starting to put in a, a team of uh, resellers now. Um, the plans were all obviously set back and a bit of a spanner in the works with the COVID um, and the lockdown. Obviously, that while that's been lifted now, we are assembling a um, <clears throat> a team of re resellers or ambassadors we call them to to kind of get you know, to, to spread the net. And we have got companies, we've got a smattering of companies across the country so that, you know, now when people open up the app, app in, you know, even in Northern Ireland or Scotland, we have got companies that will serve their area. Um, the major, the large majority of the, um, of the companies on board are South Wales and Southwest at the moment, but we're growing, you know, we're, we're starting to add more and more companies in Bath and starting to move up towards, you know, Hereford, um, and Birmingham now kind of way, you know, so yeah, we're, we're the plan is to keep growing from the, uh, from the epicenter and then to, to start picking off the cities as well. So, um, yeah, we, we want to be, be a national company. Um, we've had a good, you know, a good first year and a good start, but yeah, we need to keep putting on the, putting the foot on the accelerator to keep, uh, keep banging the drum and, and uh, I'm sure it'll it'll happen if we've got the right team in place. Yeah. What uh, what type of uh, people, companies, etc., uh, would you be looking for for the ambassador roles? Well, it um, it kind of the way the, at the moment the way we've set it up, it kind of suits people who uh, maybe doing similar things. You know, uh, uh, part time workers or. Uh, freelancers or people who work for themselves that kind of thing because um <clears throat> even though it can you know it can be a full-time role as well so you know we offer a very um attractive uh commission package so yeah it, you know it's it's there for for the for the right type of people if they want to put the effort in you know when we're um <clears throat> we don't want to just take on any any tom dick or harry you know we want to get people who are have got a bit about them that have got a contacts who are, who are good at selling who are good with people because essentially you know we're selling to people and businesses and small businesses are, are more than often run by one person or two people and yeah so i think they, they need to be a, a people person they need to have <clears throat> have a bit about them obviously be tech savvy and and pretty good on social media because we've we, we've built a nice little audience now across social media um so anyone who's listening or watching, go and, go and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, all of the platforms. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd like to think that people will have uh, have, a, have a, a good idea of how to utilize those those platforms because we we found a lot of success from in promoting and attracting new business through those methods. Yeah. Okay. So, so is there a particular, obviously I'm interested in social media as well. And you mentioned obviously all the major platforms there, which is good because not everybody goes across all the platforms and uh, you know, I've heard lots of experts tell people to concentrate on one or two or whatever. But I think if you want to be big and you want to grow, you've got to be aggressive and you've got to have a strategy for all the big platforms because if you don't pick one, there's millions of people on that platform too. So it's good to, you know, you, you've got to be consistent with social media, but you've got to find a way, in my opinion, if you want to go big, you've got to find a way to be able to manage them all. But is there a particular platform at the moment that's working better for you than the others? Um, I think naturally we've got a lot more followers on Facebook than the other channels. Um, maybe that's because, you know, more people are on Facebook um, and they more of our kind of 
business target market, you know. Those local businesses, there's a lot more of them on Facebook as well, isn't it, I would think? Yeah, most of them have got a Facebook page or at very least have got a pro personal profile that they promote their business on as we're, you know, a, a lot less. More and more are getting Instagram pages and Twitter pages, but I'd say, you know, a large percentage of them are Facebook and then probably Instagram and Twitter is a bit, yeah, a bit, well, not, not old school, but I think a lot more, um, well, you see different kind of companies, you know, the trades people and gardeners and those kind of things tend to pop up on Facebook as a lot of them are on Instagram as well. And then <clears throat> maybe the more business to business companies are on your Twitters and your LinkedIn. Um, Facebook's also good for, you know, kind of the fitness companies, the, the food companies and notoriously do well on Instagram as well. But um, yeah, we, we, we're, we want to be uh, <clears throat> known on all of them because I think, you know, on the outset, they're all free to use um, to an extent, um, apart from your time. And I think if you're not on there, your competitors will be, you know, um, and if you're not, if you're not on, you know, you're not, you're not losing from being on them. That's what I, I think you, you, you're only going to gain from, from posting stuff on, on a, on a network. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, um, okay. Well, I'm conscious that, uh, you know, you've got a, a life to lead and a, a job to be getting on with. So I, uh, I won't keep you all day, but, uh, yeah, it's great to uh, find out a little bit more, more about what you, you're up to and, and everything and, and obviously sharing that information to uh, to my audience you've obviously mentioned there are various different social media platforms where people can get in touch with you is there any other contact information you want to share so um pretty much all the information about downloading the app and the um information for businesses that want to join is all on the website which is www.udda.co.uk so as my background says uddr.co.uk and on all the platforms, we're at other services. Like I said, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're also on LinkedIn as well for people on there. We've got um, a YouTube channel as well. You'll find us on there. And if anyone wants to get in touch with us directly, you can email us at hello at udder.co.uk. Um, but yeah, go, go and check out the app, ch uh, check out the website, download the app. Like I said, it's free to use. It's, it always will be for customers. and you know as i said previously there's so many different things on there i'm sure you'll find something something that you need or something that you might need in in the future you know there's a lot a lot of people have used the app and they go like, oh yeah great i i don't need one now but i know i'm going to need my windows cleaned or my garden cut or i'm looking for a new a new plumber or a new electrician or carpenter so um <clears throat> yeah there's like i said there's there's something for everyone so i'm sure People, I'm, well, I'd like to think that people will find it useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how's, how's the downloads going? Did you mention that earlier? earlier the downloads? Yeah, we're, 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 you know, it's growing all the time. We, I think at the start, we underestimated how many, uh, how hard it is to get people to download an app because it's that extra step, you know, than to just viewing your website or clicking on your social media profile. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we, um, we're growing all the time and things like the Sky Advert are, a help in that and yeah we're into you know several thousand downloads now across both both platforms as we you know we were we were our own worst critics at the start looking at the downloads all the time and then you know we'd look at similar platforms that had been out maybe two or three years longer than us and they had a fraction of ours so we were like oh actually we're, we're not doing too bad you know so um and I don't know when this is going out, Mike, but I should also mention there's a competition going on our on our Facebook, on all our social media pages at the moment. So, um, which ends uh, start of August. And go out, August. To, you know, I, I, it'll go out tonight probably, so that's well in time. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Sunday the 2nd the competition ends, so it's um, you can win a Makita Combi impact driver and drill and a £100 Amazon voucher. So, yeah, anyone wants to enter that, go go on the social media pages and you'll find all the information yeah okay good yeah well um you know i think there's some lessons there to be learned um you know obviously your, your hit rate for the downloads is is higher than, than some other um uh, systems etc but i think you, you're very proactive with your marketing and you're hitting across a lot of platforms and like you said 
you know, why pick and choose which ones to be on when you can be on them all and engage with people on all platforms. So keep up the good work. And uh, thanks for coming on the podcast and for sharing information about your business with, with us. Thank you for having us. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Brilliant. Okay, there's nothing else left for me to say now other than have a great day. I know I will. And thanks very much for listening.